Hi, I'm Susan Waters. My husband Dale and I invented the breathable bumper. I'd like to show you how easy it is to install on any crib. Today I'd like to show you how it installs on the solid end crib. Here I have two panels. It comes with a long panel and a short panel. For purpose of installation today, I've already installed the ends of the front and the back panel to make it easier for you to see. Now you want to take the largest hole size of the mesh and that's going to face inside the baby. And you always have the Velcro side facing outside away from the baby. Now you'll take the tie on the long panel and here it fits on the center slat in the middle of the crib and you'll attach it to that and you can just tie it on. Now some cribs do not have slats in the center of the crib. They might be on a little off center like here and here. In that case you would just tie it to either one of those. And that's just to know that you have the equal amount of fabric on either end. Now you're going to take this and pull this around the outside of this slat. And you're going to weave that around there. And you're going to come in around next to the center slat. Now on some cribs you might not be able to go on the next to the center slat. So whichever slat you can make it fit, that's the one you're going to weave it around. And you're going to secure the Velcro by attaching it top and bottom to itself, well, whichever slat you can make it fit. And this might be doubled fabric, triple fabric, doesn't matter. It's still breathable and it's still safe. And then you'll want to pull it down just below the mattress so it all fits just like that. Now that's the back panel. Now we're going to do the same thing on the front panel. Now I have already attached the tie for you to see right on the center post. And I'm going to take the bumper and I'm going to pull it around. Now in this crib, I'm just going to go around the fourth slat over. On your crib, you might want to go whichever, you know, third over. And I'm going to attach it to itself. You can see. See how it's attached? Top. And attach the bottom. I'll pull it snugly. And there you go. And then always make sure it's tucked just below the mattress for a nice fit. As you can see, the breathable bumper can fit very nicely on a solid end crib. It's a great product for your crib. Hi, I'm Susan Waters. My husband, 